All right, so here I have a function j of x equals cotangent of negative pi over 4 times theta plus 1. The whole thing we're adding by 2. And we're going to do the transformations. Well, it's going to be exactly the same as we've done before. We're going to use our parent function points. We're going to set up our mapping. And then we're going to just going to basically play connect the dots. So here we go. Here's my x. Here's my y. I want to pick five points between the periods here. So I'm still going to use 0, pi over 4. Um, let's do pi. Let's do 3 pi over 4. And then let's do pi. All right. Well, cotangent at 0. Oh, wow, I have a headache now. Cotangent at 0 does not exist. Same thing at pi. It does not exist. Those are going to be my vertical asymptotes. At pi over 4, it's 1. And at 3 pi over 4, it's negative 1. And at pi, it is 0. So those are my parent function points. Let's do my mapping. What we're going to do is we're going to take my b. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So negative 4 over pi x. Inside we have plus 1. We do the opposite, minus 1. My y mapping. This is a 1, so we're just going to have y plus 2 because this whole thing is y plus 2. So this is still not applicable because those are vertical asymptotes. But 1 turns into 3, 2, and 1. Easy enough. We plug 0 in here, I get negative 1. If I plug pi, pi over 4 in here, I got a negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. If I put pi in here, um, let's see, that gives me negative 4 minus 1 is minus 5. I did something wrong here. So 0 gives me negative 1. Pi over 4 gives me negative 1 over 1. Pi is going to give me negative 4 minus 1, which is negative 5. Hmm. 3 pi over 4. Yeah, 3 pi over 4. Oh, uh, my pi's cancel that. That gives me negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Something is wrong here with my arithmetic. Huh. Let's think. Let's think through this. Instead of doing it in my head, negative 4 over pi times pi minus 1. My pi's go away. This gives me negative 4 minus 1, which is negative 5. Okay, that's fine. So 0, I'm confident in 0. Put 0 in there, that's negative 1. So if I do negative 4 over... Oh, this is supposed to be pi over 2. That's what's wrong. I knew something was wrong. My math was fine. I didn't write the right x value. All right, now if I put pi over 2 in there, I'm going to, I'm going to get negative 3 because this becomes negative 2 minus 1. If I put pi in there, there's my negative 5. Makes way more sense if I write these correct x values. That's a good thing that you saw what I just did. I had to stop. I realized there was a problem, and I had to figure out where my problem was because I knew these should have been counting up by 1s, that I'm not going to go on an x value from negative 2 to negative 5 to negative 4. That doesn't make sense. But to stop and look at my work to see where I made a mistake. That's important for you guys to see. Everybody does it. It's an important skill that you have to develop as well. All right. So what we're going to do now at this point is let's graph. Let's see. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Boom, 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 boom. At negative 1, I have an asymptote. Woo! Woo! Negative 5, I have an asymptote. Woo! Woo! At negative 3, 2, so negative 3, 2 up here somewhere. Now I have negative 2, 3. So negative 2, 3. And negative 4, 1. Gotta love our school bells. So my graph is doing something like this. And voila, it has the reflection built in, everything else. So while this process isn't hard, I actually, I did not plan that mistake. But mistakes are good things. It makes you stop and critically think about your own work and identify your mistakes. So 
don't get bogged down if you're making mistakes on these. Mistakes are good as long as you stop and think about why is it a mistake and where did it happen. The reason why I, this was a mistake is because I wrote pi instead of pi over 2, which is just careless on my behalf. I need to pay closer attention to it. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>